14 maart 2012 en we hebben een mooie Blue Smooth Café opname gehad en naast mij, next to me is Big Daddy Wilson, Wilson Blunt en hij did a really good show, almost two hours, acoustic with two other guys, a bass player and a guitar player, how was it for you on stage? Oh, it was wonderful, really nice to be here, thank you for the invitation, but playing with those two guys, Dietliff and Roberto is, is always great. They have a beautiful spirit. They understand the music that I uh, uh, do, and uh, we work, work really good together. I'm really, really happy and really enjoyed it. Also, being here is a nice, nice atmosphere. Really. Well, you're here for a short tour. You're, uh, tomorrow you play in Appledore, and then Münster back to Germany, and then uh, a big, important blues festival in Thiel, where you're on the bill with a lot of guys. What are you hoping for in, uh, in Holland? Well, you know, I haven't been here many times, and so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, have some fun and regenerate some uh, 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 some contacts and, and hopefully to, to win some few fans, you know. Well, you certainly win a few fans tonight in, this, uh, in our Blues Music Cafe, it was always in an informal atmosphere, so. Um, you play acoustic tonight, you play the bongos, you play uh, with, with the with the sticks, I don't know what it is, the washes, and on the cayum. You do everything what can be used acoustic, isn't it? You know, I, I love percussions, and uh, you know, and uh, drums was my first love, and bass, and so, uh, yeah, I, I just love to, you know, keep the rhythm and keep a little beat, and so very, very happy, you know, just to make some music, you know, music is a, it's a dream for me, it's a way of expression, it's a therapy, it's everything, you know. It's everything. You um, came over you know, 27, 28 years ago as a, a young American who served in the army, um, came from a poor background in North Carolina, you said, and hoped to get a better way of life here, get homesick, get back again, your mother said back to Germany, or don't go you have to serve the army, you signed for it, and then you met a lovely girl and stayed in Germany. Well, you know, I fell in love with a young lady and, uh, uh, named Anna, and I write a lot of songs with that using her name, named Anna, and so uh, uh, that's the reason why I stayed here in Germany. And uh, my family, I have three children, and uh, settled down here, and I've been, been here a long time here in Europe, and so I tour mostly almost every country here in Europe, and so having a, having a great time. What, what um, strikes me is that you're, um, you had a background as a singer in a church back home in, uh, in Carolina, in North Carolina, but the blues you learned in Europe. Can you tell me more about that? Well, the background is, you know, I was a child singing in the church. We all did that, so it was no real serious singing, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it was amazing that uh, we, we never listened to blues in my little small town, it was a very small town, so it was just either church music, gospel, or it was uh, country and western that's played on a local radio station. And uh, I came here to Germany and uh, Europe and uh, started seeing these guys really have a love for this music, blues, and I knew nothing about it. And so it was, when I first heard it, it moved me deeply in my, in my inner parts, and I, I knew this was for me. I knew it right away, and I had never sung uh, blues before, but it did that to me. And uh, my first concert that I went to, uh, 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 well, shortly after that, I was on stage singing the blues, you know, and and didn't stop. Been singing there ever since. How did you educate yourself? Well, you know, European blues uh, musicians, they are deep into it. Blues is a small community, and these guys who embrace this music, they really go deep. And so they was, uh, as I played with other musicians, they were showing me things from from the old school, the old guys, you know, the old blues guys. And uh, and uh, that's really how I started. And then later, of course, you know, the internet, and so you could just read about it and pick up on it. And so just just get out and play, you know. And and uh, my type of blues is, is uh, a mixture of everything, blues, spiritual, uh, folk, uh, soul, uh, a lot of singer-songwriter things that I do, and a lot of influence from a lot of uh, European blues artists, you know, and so uh, my motto is this, 
Blues is a is a feeling. It's, it's, it's no color. It's no don't have no border lines. It's it's no. Uh, it begins in the United States, but it, it's bigger than that, and it's deeper also than that. If the, the true beginning, I believe, is from Africa, you see. And so, uh, as I was uh, torn in different countries here in Europe and experienced the blues that these people have, the great musicians all over, like say Budapest, Hungary, you know, France, Holland. Holland is very well known for great musicians here in this country. And so, uh, and they all got their special type of blues, and so it's, it's a beautiful. Are you, um, can you write songs? I mean, can you read the music? Can you read notes? Do you, if you write a song, do you write it out in notes? Or is it the feeling? Do you go sit with the musicians in a studio and say, this is what I had in my mind. Listen to me. Play that. Well, I cannot write songs. I cannot read music. Uh, and so I just, it's just a feeling. Uh, I, I'm at home and all of, all of a sudden a, a feeling will hit me and I will pick up the guitar. I cannot even play a chord. And so I pick up the guitar and, and fill it around. And it started moving itself and all of a sudden a song is born. And that's how it happened. Or it could be most of the time in the shower. Uh, a, a melody comes to my mind, you see. Or it could be in the bed and I hear a, a song and I get up and run to my recording machine and just hurry up and record it, the ideal down. And so sometimes it's the, the, the music, and sometimes it's just the song itself, the words and the melody. It's, it's never no complete song. And I get with the fellas and show them what I got. And, uh, and then they started to work it, show me what they could do to it. And I, then I got it, you know, yes, like this or no, more this way or that way. So it's a lot of give and take and, and, uh, and you know, using the talent, you know, that's around me. Well, you got signed by Rough Records and uh, on that CD you released last year, it was, if I'm uh, not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's always trouble about colleagues. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. You know, we're having fun. You know, we. <laughs> we're still recording. <laughs> yeah, we're going to still recording. Recording and having fun, man. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was I? You released the CD on Rough Records last year, if I'm correct. Thumbs up? The, 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 well, the new one is, is Thumb a Ride. That's the way we used to travel in the south. When, when you don't have a car and you don't have the means. Hitchhiking, lifting. Hitchhike. And uh, the first CD that I recorded with Roof, uh, Roof Record was, uh, it's called uh, Love is the Key. And this is uh, the second part of Love is the Key, Thumb a Ride. This is the journey part. And so we're still on the big Love is the Key tour. That's just the goal, that's just the mission, to spread a little love. You know, if you, my music is, is, is mainly about uh, uh, people coming together, you know, and, uh, and sharing a beautiful experience, sharing this gift that the Almighty gave us, the gift of music, and showing what we have in common. And, you know, that's what it's all about. On that city was always, you did a couple of songs with Eric Bibb, and he's, he's in the same ballpark as you, musically wise, that's what we heard tonight. Very highly respected in, in Holland. How came that friendship across? Eric Bibb is my hero. I mean, this guy is the truth. This is the real deal. And uh, I met him in Germany at a concert. We did a festival, and I, uh, uh, we met him backstage in the dressing room. And I was already a fan of Eric Bibb. And, uh, and I went back there and shook his hand and introduced my wife to him. And, uh, and uh, he brought me on stage. And we, since then we made a friendship and every time we come to Germany, uh, we do work together. And then we, we, we promise each other, look, man, when you do your next recording, I, uh, I, I, you know, I would like to uh, do a song with you. And so he stuck to his word, he flew in, you know, and you know, recorded two songs with me, and so very happy and proud of that. You know, it's not every day where you get a chance to record with your hero. You know, so well, you, I've been blessed, man. <laughs> I mean, you're not only blessed, but you, if the opportunity arises, you should take that the chance. Absolutely. 
Um, Big Daddy Wilson, what do you like to achieve in five years? You come again here in Blue Smooth and Cafe, and then what is different then with Big Daddy Wilson now? Well, you know, I just like to uh, do this music uh, and show respect for this music and uh, reach out and touch the people. You know, it's all about the people. Sometimes you get it mixed up and think it's all about the music. The music is for people. Music is a, uh, is, a, is a tool that the Almighty used to bring people together. And so I, my, my goal is to connect with people. And so when you see me again, I hope that I'll be able to make a, a, a stronger and a bigger connection and open my arms a little bit wider. <laughs> well, what, 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 what did strike me and, uh, was that we have a, where we record People can come in, people can walk out, and you got them all quiet. Normally they want to chat and they want to talk, but you got them quiet. Some, there's something about you that says to the people, be quiet now, here's a musician at work. I'm going to sing for you. And it's going to be very, very, very toned down, and then it's going to be soul and funky anyway. Can you rehearse that? Well, Eric, Bib told me, this is the beauty of acoustic guitar. When you bring acoustic guitar on stage with a, with a, with a strong voice, uh, you can get the people's attention. And uh, it's unique, it's a, it's a real different feel than electric. And so the people recognize that and I'm very happy that they, they, that they show the type of respect that that calls for and pull back and listen. So it was very, very beautiful. You also play uh, electric in, in, in another um, setup and band. Um, what strike? What, what do you love about that kind of playing? You know, I, I love the power also. You know, and so uh, the electric guitar is, is is a beautiful, beautiful instrument, beautiful sound. So uh, I love the band. You know, formation. Uh, but uh, right now, it's a little bit easier to travel. With, you know, in this way. And you know now the way things are, you know, to travel with a whole band is it, it's, it's, uh, very expensive. And so, uh, but uh, I, I'm happy with you know this this acoustic formation. And um, but I, I do love uh, playing with a band in a, a electric formation. I like the Harmon B3, and uh, I like the horn section and all of that. So uh, you might the next CD I might use on some song some of that. And. Uh, yeah, see what well, we're going to wait for that and until that time we're going to say Big Daddy Wilson, thank you very much for um, be our guest in Blue Smooth's uh, Cafe. Uh, thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. All ours.